at quarterback, Anthony Jennings. We visited with him yesterday. He's much calmer. I think the benching helped him. I think it blew all the air out of the problems of the backup and whether they needed, needed to change. And I think he's a new man. Now, he's not going to be asked to carry the football team with his arm. But I doubt if LSU will be able to beat, beat Alabama if he's not a significant factor in the game. Play action. Jennings throws it high. Incomplete. Third and ten. Pressure got him. You no know, Smith, and he got through. They're running the guy over the middle. That's where Jennings wanted to go through the ball, but inside, just one delay, and all of a sudden you're going down. What'd you say? Screen pass. McGee. <clears throat> with the tackle. Connor Neighbors is the fullback. A lot of time for Jennings uh, deep. Uh -oh. oh. They're trying to run across and a post behind it and defended very well by Landon Collins. He doesn't bait on the first one. He takes the second one. Beautiful job by a safety. Incomplete. Boy, that was a first down ten. Ball for 16. Uh -oh. Little busted play. Jennings and then Reggie Raglan. Just a rollover. James Wright also yeah, that's drafted. Right. On third down. Oh, one-handed grab by Dupree. Nope. No. Nope, was he nope. out of bounds? And the Tigers in the eye on third and two. Play action. Jennings. Right side deep. Incomplete. Rolled him up with four wide right across the middle. Oh, what a catch. Uh, I think it hit the ground. <laughs> Mid-course correct. Yes, you got it. Trayvon Durrell that time almost made it. Of course, he's had that one-handed catch this year, but almost got it. Against Alabama. First down 10. Jennings will keep it. Stiff arm. Fournette. Wide left. Behind the intended receiver. It's 35 yards for a 50 yard. Jennings gets around the corner. That's out of bounds and stops the clock. I, I, I never saw that coming. We watched nope. most of the second half here. Here's Jennings. No one's tipped and incomplete with okay. 110 to go. I think he was. I mean, yes, in Gainesville. Picked off by Eddie Jackson. Oh. It's either Spears or Durrell. Trayvon Durrell. Durrell, number 83. Falls Eight. down. Second down, seven. There's the one. Yes, right there. indeed. Connor Neighbors. Yeah, this is a little come from behind. It's like a little sneak inside when you're able to show that you want to run the ball. Then In the eye again with Ford at the deep back. Play action, Jennings. Chase. Beautiful. Caught. As LSU was running early, this going back to the play action seems like Anthony's more comfortable, doesn't have to read all of the coverages. For a short time. And this. Blitz. Jennings. First down. For 26. And 30 and 33, yes. Look at that great block from the backside by McGee that time. Number 18, mm -hmm. Jennings, too, has helped. Jennings has to get rid of it quickly, and he has to heal. Oh, boy. Jennings looks back toward the bench. Here comes the blitz. Collins gets a great block from McGee. Uh, did Dupre get it, or was he out of bounds? <laughs> Jennings a lot of time. Nobody open, so he'll tuck it. He will run, and he will have the first down. Jennings. He's a loss, too, though. I don't know. I'll tell you that. They've got a few. Yes. Jennings finds him right side. And he bangs forward to the 30-yard line. Reggie Raglan heads outside. That 
catch is made. That should be enough. They hurry. They snap it. And he got it. Yes, he did. Jennings doesn't look hurt on that one. That's a, what is that? Bama to change up their coverages. They're playing all combo coverage. and the Ten on the conversion. Deep right side, double coverage. Help coming over, Eddie Jackson. Williams still the running back. Jennings keeps it, looks for a block he does not get. On the corner, and DePriest is up high. He doesn't play zone here to keep the quarterback in front of him. Yes, they do. Yep. Dumps it off underneath, and it will be Travis Dixon. I'm going to keep my eyes forward, and I'm going to get make sure that he has to drop it off. That's that zone defense. Everybody's got their eye on the quarterback. LSU 7 to 15 on third down conversions. Jennings got it. Traven Durall during the midway point of the final quarter. Blitz Jennings. Has to protect the football as he goes down. Just collapse also because of great coverage in the secondary. Dropped. He's a slot receiver, number eight. They're setting him up for a first down. You got to catch that ball. You just have to make that play. He's in the game as a possession receiver. They set him up. Perfect throw. Coaching staff, everybody did their job. Let's see what happens. McGee is the running back. Jennings pressured. Is that caught or trapped? I think it was DJ Petway that hit him just as he let that ball go. That's the reason it was short. I think it was 57. Yes. yes. Petway. E. That's McGee goes wide out. Incomplete. Over. This was a tough catch, I think. So he was out to his outside and kind of fading away from him. Well, you know, Vern, the more I watch it, the more I agree with you. They got to run it and force the last time out. Here goes center it. Yeah. Go back. Play action. Jennings. Out of the backfield. He dropped it. Watch him. Goes up for the ball. Turns his head. I mean... Jennings. Left side. One on one. Receiver ran out of bounds. That's uh... four man Alabama rush. Tipped away. And as Perry goes over and gets the ball. Here's Jennings. Pulls up, lobs it into the end zone. It is tipped and incomplete. I really thought Jennings could have made the first down on this. When he gets outside, there is no one in front of him. He sees the throw. And now he had room to run. We got one look here. Could Jennings have made a first down running? I think he could have.